Hi everyone, welcome back to another video and in today's video we're going to look at 10 steps for potting a snooker ball. Sounds like a lot of steps but I think breaking it down like this is going to give you a good insight into some of the things that good snooker players are thinking. Okay, so step one, we're gonna need a cue and we're gonna need some chalk. So we can put some chalk on the cue. So step one is literally to get the white ball to hit this red to make it go in the pocket. So let's do that. I need to make that white, hit that red, and it goes into the pocket. So that's step one of potting a snooker ball. Okay, so step two, potting a snooker ball. Instead of doing what I did last time, let's try and pot the ball, but let's put my chin down on the cue so that I can I can see the shot a little bit better. So I've got a better view from here, and now I can hit the shot and try and make the ball go in. Okay, so step three, potting a snooker ball. Let's stand behind the shot so we get a nice look at the shot before we even get down. Then let's get our chin down on the cue. So I've already looked at it and lined it up before I got down. Have a look at it, and then hit the ball and make it go in. So that time I stood behind it, got my chin on the cue, and then made it go in. Right, so step four of potting a snooker ball. Let's have a look. Let's stand behind it, exactly the same. Let's go in and get my chin down on the cue. And this time I'm gonna do a few practice swings just to get a feel for the shot. And then I'm gonna hit the shot and make it go in. So that was step four. Right, so step five, let's do all the same things. So we're gonna look at the shot before we get down. Then I'm gonna get my chin down on the cue. Then I'm gonna do my practice swings, and now what I'm gonna add is I'm gonna have a good look at what the shot looks like here. So I'm looking at my tip to make sure it's hitting the center of the white like I want it to. I can look up at the red and make sure I'm gonna strike that where I want it to, and I feel like it's gonna pop. And now I can do those practice swings then, and then I can play my shot and make it go in. Okay, so here we go, step six. Let's look at the shot. So having a good look at it, let's do our walking. Get the chin down on the cue. So we're gonna do some practice swings and we're gonna check the aiming. So we're also doing the practice swings, checking the aiming. And then the next thing now we're gonna do is bring the cue back smoothly and then play the shot. So we've now added pulling the cue back smoothly and that gives me a more consistent strike. Okay, everyone, step seven. Right, we're gonna stand behind the shot, have a good look at it, walk in, get the chin down on the cue, do some practice swings, make sure I'm looking at my, my aiming, make sure that looks good. Then what I'm gonna do this time is when I've done my practice swings, I'm gonna stop at the white, now I've practiced for the shot. I'm gonna bring the cue back smoothly and then play the shot. So all of a sudden there you can start to see these consistencies coming in now. We're not just potting the ball, we've got lots of extra little checks and some good things that we're doing, some good habits we're forming to make potting this ball more and more consistent. Okay, everyone, step eight. We're gonna add now keeping still. So we're gonna look at the shot. We're gonna walk in. We're gonna get the chin down on the cue. We're gonna do our practice swings, so our feathers back and forward, getting a feel for the shot. Make sure you check your aiming. Make sure you have a good look at the shot. Aiming on the cue ball and on the red where I want. Pause at the white when I've finished. Pull back smoothly and keep very still when I play the shot. Okay, so now we're really starting to do well. We're on to step nine. We've got some nice habits starting to form now. So let's go through them again. Step nine, we're gonna add now watching where the object ball goes. So I'm looking at the shot from here. I'll do my walking. Then I can get my chin down on the cue. I'm doing my feathers up to the shot, having a good look at my aiming, getting a feel for it. Looking at the white, checking the red, making sure everything's good. Little stop at the white. Bring the cue back smoothly. Keep still and watch where the object ball goes into the pocket. So that one went nicely into the center of the pocket. So I'm always saying to players that you'll learn just as much from the shots that don't go in as the ones that do go in, because when you miss those shots very slightly, you've then got some extra data and some feedback so that you can learn for next time and make the corrections that you need to make. Right, so step 10, we can now pop this ball and we've got some really good habits formed. So this is what your practice is for, forming all of these habits. Step 10 is now deciding what we want to happen with the white after it hits that red. So on this shot, I'm gonna play a stun shot. I covered that in my last video, so if you haven't seen that, click the little pop out above there, and you'll see that video all about how the stun shot works. So I'm gonna play a stun shot here, that's the next thing I've added. So when I'm lining it up here, I've already decided I'm playing a stun shot. 
So we're lining it up here. I'm playing a stun, I already know that, so I can get down to play the stun position on the white. Walk in, get my chin down on the cue, check that I'm aiming at the stun position. Then I can do my feathers up, get a feel for the shot, check my aiming all looks good, make sure I'm nice and happy with it. Little pulls at the white, pull the cue back smoothly, play the shot, keep still, watch where the object ball goes, and then hopefully you've achieved that nice stun shot as well. So, 10 steps there to pot in a ball. Seems a bit mad to break it down into those 10 steps, but I think it's much easier to understand in little bite-sized pieces like that exactly what players are doing when they're potting snooker balls. We've got these very good habits formed. Now, as I always say in my videos, make sure you're doing these things in practice. Form these good habits, and then you can start to bring them into your match play. So you don't want to be thinking too much about technique and all of these little, tiny little intricate details when you're trying to play good snooker. That's what your practice is for. Have five or 10 minutes of trying to form those, those habits, those 10 steps that we've just gone through for potting the ball and that'll really help you with, you with your consistency. So as always everybody, if you enjoyed this video, remember to give it a like. If you're new to this channel and you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. I do regular tutorial videos like this. I do some fun videos, some exhibition shots. So if you subscribe to the channel, it just really helps me to keep all this content coming regularly. As always, thanks a lot for watching everybody. If anyone's interested in any personal one-to-one -one coaching sessions, feel free to have a look in the description box below all my details are there, my website, my contact details. Feel free to get in touch with me and I'd love to help you personally with your game. I'm working on this table. This table's got a brand new cloth. This is only two weeks old. Match conditions, professional lighting, ball cleaning machine. It's all top conditions. So I'd love to help you with your game. So feel free to get in touch with me. And as always, thanks a lot, everybody. I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.